In my hand here is the Vigu VM50 USB condenser microphone. I'll be checking it out and doing some audio tests that's coming up on Thrifty AV. Quick disclaimer, the folks at Vigu sent over the VM50 as a review sample. If they want this back, they can ask for it. I am not being paid for this review and all opinions expressed in this video are my own. There are several reasons why you might want a USB condenser microphone in your toolkit. First off, if you're doing Zoom calls, uh, this is going to sound way better than the built-in microphone on a webcam. Second, if you're gaming, uh, this microphone is going to sound way better than the one built onto a headset. But what I use USB microphones for is editing in post-production. So while I'm in the edit process, if I need to add some voiceover, a USB microphone is way handier than an XLR microphone. But wait, this is out of the box. Let's back up and check out the unboxing. The outside of the box says VGU Condenser Microphone VM50 and it has a picture of the microphone with the screen in front of it. There's a support email and a website. On the back of the box in several languages is the brand, model, and specs. More about those specs later in this video. All right, let's get into this box. There is a booklet here in several languages. It is packed in this nice foam to keep it safe. I'm just going to pull the whole foam piece out. Here is the USB cable. It uses USB-C. This was all ready together. I don't have to do any assembly at all. It does come with a shock mount, which is a good thing. And this built-in pop filter will disperse air pressure and prevent plosives so that I don't uh, cause noises when I'm breathing onto the diaphragm. It does have a built-in volume control, which not all USB microphones have. The cable that came with the VGU is over six feet long. In metric land, that means over two meters. The USB-C side will plug into the microphone, and then you can either use USB-A or USB-C on your computer. On the bottom of the microphone, there's a headphone jack and a USB-C. I'm going to go ahead and plug in the USB-C. I'm going to plug it into my computer here. And the computer detected it. It says setting up a device. It took a few seconds, but now Windows 10 says the VGU VM50 is ready to use. The VGU lit up. It says VGU VM50. That's a nice touch. Now this VGU VM50 feels substantial. It has metal construction on the microphone and on the stand. The stand stays in place. And this windscreen has a metal mesh here in the front. And this windscreen can be removed. It's got the volume control in the front so you can set your audio level appropriately. And the shock mount will prevent any noise from this thing being jostled around. Normally when I'm recording audio I use a lavalier microphone clipped to my chest. But I've changed things up a little bit. This red microphone in front of me here is an XLR condenser microphone and it's hooked up to my camera. Of course, you cannot hook an XLR directly to a computer. Uh, what I have hooked up to my computer is this VGU VM50 and I'm recording using Audacity over here. What you're listening to right now is the XLR plugged into my camera. And now you are listening to the VGU VM50 microphone. This is what the VGU sounds like. This is what the large diaphragm condenser XLR sounds like. And back to the VGU VM50. So that is a comparison of what a professional large diaphragm condenser XLR sounds like with the VGU VM50. I had the audio set a little bit too hot on the VGU and you can see that it overmodulated right there. But that's why it's so cool to have this volume control. I can just back off on the level and prevent overmodulation. 
I've backed off on the audio level, so the Vigu VM50 should not be overmodulating now, and you are listening to me through the Vigu VM50. Now, you might notice I'm wearing headphones, and these headphones are plugged into the headphone jack on the Vigu VM50. This is not a direct input from the microphone, but is going through the computer. So if there are any audio sources on the computer, I will also hear those through these headphones. Now, a lot of USB microphones, you don't want to use the headphones because the headphone jack has horrible latency. It's like an echo and it distracts you when you're recording your audio. That is not true for the VGU. I am listening to myself while I'm recording just fine. It's not distracting me and I'm hearing myself in real time. So you can actually monitor what you're recording on the VGU using the headphone jack built into it. The literature on the VGU says that it is a cardioid pickup pattern. It is unidirectional. What that means, it's going to pick up what's in front of it more than what's on the sides of it, what's behind it. And I want to test that out. Now, hopefully I'm going to hold it from the edges here and let the shock mount prevent it from having uh, too much uh, noise as I'm handling it. I am front addressing it right now. Now I am side addressing the VGU and this is what it sounds like when I side address it. Now I am talking into the back of the VGU. Any audio you hear will be room reflection because this thing picks up from this side it does not pick up from the side that I am talking into. Again, this is the front address. This is what it sounds like when you talk into the proper side on the VGU. In my intro to this video, I mentioned that the VGU can be used with a webcam. Right now, it's not plugged in. I'm using just my C920 Pro in my edit room here. Let's plug the VGU in and hear the difference in the sound. Now the VGU VM50 was not designed to be handheld, but I wanted it to be visible on the webcam, so that's why I'm holding it up. This is how much better your audio is going to sound if you use the VGU VM50 as your audio source instead of the built-in microphone on your webcam. While I have the VGU hooked up to my edit machine, let's look at the specifications of this microphone starting with the frequency response, which is pretty flat from 20 hertz up to about 5,000 hertz, and it has a little bump uh, up to 10,000 hertz, then backs off a little bit. This is actually a pretty flat frequency response that would be good not just for uh, voice work, but also to record instruments with. The sampling rate is 96 kilohertz. A CD is 44.1 kilohertz, so this is over double the sample rate of a CD. Bit rate is 24 bit, a CD is 16 bit. And as discussed earlier, the frequency response is 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. Negative 40 dB plus or minus 2 dB is a good sensitivity. Uh, there's the output impedance, 680 ohms, max SPL is 110 decibels. That is loud, folks. This thing can handle loud sound pressure level. Total harmonic distortion, less than 1%. Signal to noise ratio, 89 decibels. And the 2 meter cable length that I mentioned earlier. So overall, I am very pleased with the VGU VM50. I like its metal construction. It has a solid desk stand. I like the adjustable mic level. I like the low latency monitoring. And it has a quality of sound comparable to an XLR condenser microphone. Uh, if you're interested in the VQ VM50, there is an affiliate link in the description. Of course, Thrifty AV makes a small commission at no additional cost to you. If you enjoy this video, smash that like button. Thank you to my patrons for supporting this channel. And thank you, VGU, for sending over the VM50 microphone. Stay thrifty, everyone.